Made for live betting. Hello guys and welcome to the Loot Bet Dota 2 Season 1 t Tournament. We're watching Namiga Gaming vs Wind and Rain in an exciting last best of 3 of the day. Tons of best of 3s for this tournament, tons of exciting matches. And if you guys want to watch them, you guys wanna got to watch them here in the official channel. Your cast is for today for this next game of the series. It's the Swordfish, myself, hello, and the Lizard. Well, hello there, sir. I'm hyped to be watching this last game of the... Well, not the last game. The second game of the series. Maybe yeah. the last game <laughs> if Namiga Gaming managed to pull out the same performance they did in the game one. Freudian slips here, man. Freudian slips. <laughs> <laughs> Happens. Happens, yeah. Uh, I owe Gyrocopter for Namiga, though, so it could be the last game. This is a strong combo. I mean, it, is a, it was a strong combo. You don't think it is anymore? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gyro is forced to buy his own Aghanim, so Wisp can't give it to him. Uh, spirit. I don't know. I, I mean, I saw Mid-1 do a Rampage with Wisp today. You saw that? So maybe they will put Wisp mid. Let's go, baby. Mid-Wisp with Veil and hmm. Aghanim. I don't know why. It might, it might be because I'm a bit insane, but I think they're probably not going to do that. You know, it's just... <laughs> It seems like it's Wisp support, Gyrocopter carry. Maybe. Maybe I'm crazy, but... I don't, I think this is a pretty good combo, man. Uh, still. Because I agree with the Axe point, and you're totally right. But I think the... Dusk. Like, when the Chinese casters talked about IO Gyrocopter, they always say that mm -hmm. us Westerners don't understand the combo, because they were mm -hmm. the guys who made it. Uh-huh. Uh, of course, because we're idiots. And they, they say the strength of the combo is in the farming potential they have, right? And it still has that farming potential. Wow, China. I know, Number insane. Number one. I know, insane. man. Insane. <laughs> but the, this, this is an actual quote, by the way. I'm not making this up. This is, they actually said this in the cast. But anyway, they, they, they were mentioning that like the farming potential that IO Jack has is still really strong. And the fact that you have like a carry that doesn't have a weak point in the game necessarily, because IO covers for that, right, is still there. Uh, we have seen some success of the IO Gyrocopter. Like in South American qualifiers, for example, Pain mm -hmm. literally only won games with IO Gyrocopter. Mm -hmm. Then they lost I mean, Rio when they banned him. So. Look, it's it's it, like the combo has been nerfed. And yes. I, I actually have to say that I agree with them a little bit because, yeah, mo I've seen so many Western teams pick IO Gyro and then just constantly try to fight early on instead of utilizing that power that power that they have when it comes to farming early on and just rotating across the map. But then again, uh, Tether got nerfed and it's not the same. You aren't as fast as you used to be and even your farming has been nerfed when it comes to a Wisp and Gyro. And then Wisp's Tether also got nerfed to be broken by, like you can't just Tether and if you get stunned, it's broken if you're, if you're flying towards the target. So th there are many little things that are making this combo not as strong as before. But it's still Wisp and Gyro. If you pull it off, it's going to be really strong. Like, Gyro is going to carry the game. Um, the only thing that has to be said is that you literally cannot give him Aghanims as you, anymore as you don't have that talent. So, to buy uh, yourself, that, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, and, like, they, all, they also only have a Tusk on position 5, I guess. Maybe even 4, depends on how they play the Wisp. Uh, usually what I like seeing with Wisp is... Something different, something like a Bane or 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 
or a lion, something that can, like a support that can just hide on the edge of the map and catch someone and then you reload in, you blow the target up and then you continue farming with Spin Gyro. This Tusk, uh, he's a brawler, I, I don't see his uh, point right now at least, but we'll see, maybe they do something really good with him. Like, Maybe some Tusk plus Pango on the offlane or something similar. Maybe. He has the combo. It's not, to me, it's the Brawler. Partially, you're right. And to me, partially, is also like, you're already picking one support without a stun. A carry that has a really terrible stun. And then you pick up a, yeah. a other support, which has, like, what? A Snowball, maybe? Or Baller's Punch? Yeah. Like, you want some catch in your team. And you already have three heroes that don't really bring much of it to the table. Yeah. Not many mid laners bring catch. And if your offlaner is the only initiation, then it's a bit tough for you. Yeah, maybe something like a storm on that mid lane is an option for you. You are playing versus an ember. It is a little bit on a greedier side, but it's a draft that would uh, that alliance would play something Legion like that. Commander. Legion commander, there you go. That's your another wisp combo. So you could even yeah. lane wisp legion, and it's your catch. It's your catch as well. You have that link duel always. Um, do they have ways of dealing with it? They do. They have the swap, they have roar, they have cock with the cogs. There are many ways of disrupting the the duel, but uh, yeah, I, I guess it's still a decent Legion game. We'll see how they play around it and with it. Uh, they don't see the carry, so now Wind and Rain should be able to pick accordingly. Also, Wind and Rain, whoever they pick for their uh, carry, uh, that that's going to be a hyper carry as they have the Beastmaster and the Vengeful Spirit. That's a lot of uh, these auras just given to the carry to be even stronger and hit, he's going to hit very hard. Um, what can they pick though versus Legion on that safe lane that works really well against her? Usually whenever I see this Legion it's either to counter some Batrider or to pick or it's picked versus a hero such as three Tinker Ban. What? Silence. Oh, it's a Silencer mid. Okay. All right. No, it's this 70. is picked quite often right now. It's picked quite often, especially versus Ember. Okay. It, it just crushes him. And when you go for that build with Atos, it gives you another hero that has catch. Uh, one problem for Silencer this game is he's playing versus Clock, a hero that gets super easily on top of him and can so... Every single game Silencer is picked, Broodmother is banned. Faye is a... Oh, Faye isn't playing Brood. All right, I like this. We should play Brood. <laughs> Vish is going to go Brood mid. Uh, however, you just picked Brood into Legion Commander. And Gyro. If you're, and I mean, Gyro, I'm talking about the laning stage. All right. Oh, right. Like okay. the, laning, sure. yeah, yeah. the laning stage, Brood uh, should crush the silencer. That's the point behind it. Yeah, yeah, of course. But if you side lane the Ember Spirit, give it to Faye, then you can also side lane the silencer. Let's say put silencer and Tusk on the side lane. Uh, versus versus Ember and what I suspect would be Cube or maybe Lissage. And then just put the Legion mid. Legion has no problems dealing with Brood. I agree. I agree. Like the... I was thinking at first when they picked the Legion Silencer and the, I guess, the, I don't really understand the Tinker Band, but Legion Silencer, I guess Wish. Uh, they were thinking, no matter where Ember goes, he's going to be crushed because he's not a good laner against Legion either. But here, you could actually completely win your lanes. I think there are going to be some musical lanes, because you have some really hard lane matchups here for uh, Wind and Rain. You don't want... You essentially want... Like, the only hero Ember can really kind of lane against is Gyro. Mm. And even then, it's like, eh. So and Faye doesn't really play a lot of Ember. I, I need to mention that as well. Really? Uh, okay. yeah, I, I mean, I know this guy... Uh, I've played with him in a team for half of a year, too, so... Uh, I kind of know his hero pool. I don't know if it has changed a whole lot in the last half of a year or a year, but uh, he back then at least he wasn't really an Ember spammer. But we'll see. Ember is a pretty good hero right now, and the kid is very talented. Play that is. So. I made it into the game wizard. Yeah, just kidding. Oh my god! Unbelievable! No radio cast this time around. And yeah, they're sending the Legion mid. I mean, this this was to be expected. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So. What are you gonna do? Like, <laughs> if you're a war, I'm I'm really questioning how your lanes are gonna go here, man. Because uh, I did mention the gyro point as well. Because when it comes to the mid game and the legion no longer lanes against him, gyro will also crush your spiderlings and just farm your spiderlings easily. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. you you don't have a point where the broodmother really attacks. Like broodmother right now is built more as a carry, right? So you don't really care as much about the spiderlings counter. Mm -hmm. 
They might catch Melujul here. Uh, with the Hawk, they Ooh. definitely do see him. This should be an easy kill. They just need to wrap around properly. Yep, there oh, we go. There we Mellow go. Jewel. That is pretty bad. Melujul, Jewel, Mellow Jewel, I don't know. That's okay. I, he's dead yeah, no matter what, right? No matter what you call him, his name will never be uttered by his loved ones again. He's dead. Uh, the Brood Mother already set up the web, one web on mid lane. Sometimes you can set up one web and then move move to other lane. But the bamboo play. Think, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I don't think that's going to be the case here. I think what happens here is basically uh, Brood stays mid, farms against the Legion Commander, and there's two options for the Brood Mother on mid lane versus Legion. You either go for the passive and you don't even spawn fighter links. Okay. Or you go for spawn spider links, but you completely dodge the lane. You never show up. And you go jungle as soon as possible. Then. Yeah, yeah, you just jungle with them. If you, but the problem is, very often it happens that Brood Mother tries that, and Legion Commander, if he's good enough, he just finds her in the jungle and uses the Q, gets <laughs> rid of all, kills all the spiders and the creeps that she's farming, and then she's a very, very sad brood. Um, I hope this guy goes for passive, but I don't think that's going to be the case because he has the soul ring queued up. Yeah. Or the third option is you play the lane with the spawn spiderlings and pray to God, <laughs> Legion does not get the good overwhelming odds. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you. Which is yeah. very unlikely, right? Yeah. No, he's definitely gonna. Win. I think the point here would be like to to evade the overwhelming odds. We're gonna stay in lane. I agree with the with the jungling tactic to be honest. I mean, the passive is okay, but even against the Legion, it's not that great. Because press the attack dispels it anyway. I mean, it's one of the ways to deal with the Legion, that's all. Yeah. I, I've seen some Le it, it, it becomes a skill-based matchup when you go for passive. Like, yeah. you, maybe Legion has a small advantage, but you can lane against her. and you still. But you don't farm nearly as fast, that's the problem. And if you aren't farming as Brood, like, that hero loses purpose if you aren't ahead in farm. So, that's and the problem. Now we're starting to see... He did go for the spotlight kill, but he's going to try to play this lane. Uh, until when Legion gets overwhelming odds level two, those bro those spider legs are gonna be more uh, like they're gonna be acceptable to just dying, yeah. Because yeah. even even the brute just dies to that like the damage overwhelming odds does to a hero just because of it is ridiculous. So yeah, we have really the careful. level level three. Yeah. I won't be surprised. I won't be. Yeah, there we go. Suddenly twelve CS on the chosen <laughs> one. <laughs> That's how you play Legion. And uh, one of the better things in this matchup that I like a lot is that. Sometimes when you pull a counter mid, you're kind of wasting farm on a hero that doesn't really use it well, but Legion is fantastic with, with a bit of farm experience. Yeah, and you know what as well? On what? that side lane, at least, what's going great for Wind and Rain is the fact that Mellow Jewel has DS so far, but that's because uh, Fervian is uh, stacking waves for him, and there are two waves coming his way, but this should be very good for Wind and Rain, as Silencer, if he... If he decides to join uh, the creeps here, where they meet, oh, Ember actually, oh, he he ports. Oh. He was blocked by the creeps. Oh. He was blocked by the. What a play! All right. I I don't know. That's really the play that he wanted to do, but he ported back and took the next creep wave. So that's all right. But that creep wave is still dying to the tower. So eventually. These creeps will push. I expected them to do a much better job here. What I expected that's going to happen is one of the supports goes takes the creep wave around the tower, while Ember denies everything here, in between tier 1 and tier 2. But they completely fail that, and even this pull is bad from Alistash, because the next creep wave is also going uh, uh, under the tower. And now... Oh, what are they doing? <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're like trying is... to deal with this creep, like when you have like rats oh, and you just make oh, the stack. They stacked though, maybe they can oh. get a couple of denies. Yeah, not getting denied, but they are getting the creeps to die here. It is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good, it's good. De uh, he denied so many creeps. He also got this ghost. This ghost is ridiculous, man. He destroys creeps, I swear. Yeah. This is two creep waves denied. Like, two full creep waves denied uh, by a small camp. Well, double stack small camp. But this is really good. I expected this to be horrible and that Silencer gets a lot, but Silencer has zero CS. Like... Amazing, just because they managed to stack that. Really, really well played. Also, because of the fact that Ghost was there. Because that Ghost just shreds creeps. Sure. And now they can even kill Melodule. This is terrible for the poor guy. Like, he's alone in the cogs. We talked about how strong Clockwork is against him. It's just an easy kill. So you don't, you're not getting the impact the Silencer wants. Here oh, definitely not. And I expect this lane to go at least remotely well for him. So that he finds some farm. But they, they managed to control the first couple of ways really well. Now, though, he should be able to find something, as they are pushing in a little bit. 
Yeah. However, on the mid lane, 48 CS but for the Legion Commander. Not too shabby, right? No, you know, easy. Not too bad. I mean, his net worth not that ridiculous because most of those are, are spider yeah. rings, but it's four minutes in, right? Like, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. He's still, what, like, what, 500 ahead of uh, Brood? Yeah. It's still good, yeah. I mean, here, I think as a Legion, yes, you love farming, but it's also the fact that you can't. Look at popular, that, right? look at that. Find you, find you in the jungle, take your creeps away. No creeps for you! <laughs> yeah, just go. He didn't get all the spiders, but yeah. It's okay. Because they spawned after. Oh, he's even going oh. for the duel here. Okay, this is a bit of a Oh, that's question. too much. I, maybe not. He yeah. do doesn't have a one point to the pass, I'm wondering why. It's not that much damage. I thought he was going to deal more damage. Oh. Yeah, I expected the... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, w I was thinking the passive is the reason she didn't do deal more damage, but there's no passive on the Brood. <laughs> Surprising. I feel a bit insane now. I was watching that. I, yeah. like, I swear she was missing attacks, right? Like, okay. Yeah, it definitely did look like that to me as well. Interesting. Well, well yeah, Brood goes back to this triangle, farms away, while Legion Commander just completely dominates mid lane. But Brood should be fine from now on, just farming this and farming the, the Ancients as well, as he has that Blightstone to work with. Medallion makes it easy, Blightstone makes it, well, not too hard, I guess. So, at least oh. what you've managed to do here with the Legion... Top lane? Oh, top lane, yeah, the Snowball, I think Burning Stick, though. Yeah. So, so Namiga is in a tough place, I think, uh, right now, especially if, if the silence are done. Which is that you have a Tusk and Silencer that really did nothing, but at the same time, the Gyrocopter manages to keep the Beastmaster at bay. He's farming very well himself. Uh, the, obviously, the Legion wins the lane as well, very hard. You're not too sad about how the lanes are going right now. It's just the Silencer is essentially a no pick. He's going to be kind of position 3 ing just utility Silencer. Yeah, it's not the Silencer that, that just dominates and, and carries, especially because this hero. Uh, he needs to get those stolen intelligence stacks early on too. He's definitely not getting them, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. But I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely wouldn't feel too comfortable if I was Namiga, just because, just because of this level three silencer right now. While yeah. Faye is level five on the Ember. Yeah. That will another duel. Okay, another another attempt. At this point, I, I, it's interesting. I've never seen a Legion use duel for harassment, but I think he's what it's doing. Like he's forcing <laughs> Wish away the lane. Yeah, and Vish was farming the hard camp oh. with his uh, spiderlings, but his spiderlings were actually. Oh, they cannot there we save go. the silencer up top. I think Fervin's gonna die too. They have side of fist yeah. in six seconds. They can just chase after tower. Uh, one more hit will do the trick, but yeah, they're going pretty far. There's no cool. TPs. Okay, one TP later by silencer. Not like he's gonna do much. Level three silencer. Oof. This feels very yeah. bad for the silencer. And Ember is getting level six after the screw fade. And what do you do then with the silencer? I don't think you can approach this lane any longer. There we go, level level six, three remnants. He could have doven him. I mean, as soon as he has flame guard, he can go. Yeah, He's go. doing exactly that. Literally, as you said, yeah. man, what a great analyst. Lizard for team. Wow, po poke champ. You can even very see hard, the very hard to predict. <laughs> very hard to predict that you can dive a level three silencer with a level six ember. I would have never guessed that, man. You've teaching me so much about yeah. that. Thank Crazy you. analysis, right? Yeah, than the Chinese casters, man. And they taught me Chara and Ayo can farm, man, so... <laughs> where, did they, where did they find these infos? I guess they mingle pro players a lot, right? And that was actually... Uh, uh, the, they was... Um, what's his name? Zhao, Zhao 8, who said that. So uh -huh. he, literally a pro player, man. He's a TI winner. Did you win a TI? No. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So. I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, how can he say such a thing? Because everyone understands that. Like, that's 101 with Spinchiro. It's about the farming. Oh, Legion, if he finds those juicy spiders there. Oh, that would be so good. Oh, where's. Oh! oh! Wow. I mean, he doesn't even get that much gold, but it just feels good. <laughs> no, it feels <laughs> so. so good. I can, I can feel his happiness, right? You know, when yeah. you just, I can understand. The Chosen One's happiness is coming to me. He's going down bottom. This is a good rotation. Catch Boogie early. Uh, make sure he doesn't have any impact as Priest Master. Or, even better... Oh, wow! He actually might catch Wish. There we go. No, uh -huh. not enough damage. I was expecting much more, actually, from overwhelming odds. I mean, Wish is actually keeping up with farm. Look at that. 3.6k versus 4.1. It's not like he's... He's no, crushed by the well. Legion. I, I I don't know if this is even worth it, considering just how crushed uh, Silencer is. Silencer is the like if he was mid, he would have more. That's my that's you my think point. So? Against a Broodmother? I don't think that's a good matchup I, either. I, it's it's a horrible matchup, but I oh. still think he would not be level three. At least he'd be hiding under the tower. Supports would help him or something. I don't know. 
Uh, but I don't think he'd be level 3 right now. That's all. Brood would, would crush him nonetheless. I think right now we're seeing uh, an Amiga putting all their eggs in one gyro basket. And yes, Leech can help, but she's obviously not going to be your main carry. So you're just trusting the gyrocopter to be good. And let's be honest, as long as Silencer can someday someday reach level 6, he'll be fine. Well, the issue someday. Is, yeah, look at this. Someday is a stretch because he dies again. Oh yeah. my god, poor guy. I am feeling his pain. There's the ice shards, the cube. They're looking for a duel here. It's a bit difficult. Oh, no, it's very strong with the 3, though. Relocate Relocate coming, is in. coming in. Yeah. yeah. Gyrocopter, can they cancel this? They can't. Remember, I was telling you that I like to have a support with the IL has catch because otherwise, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. That, I I kind of understand and see that definitely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they leave the rune on top lane. Wisp leaves him. Wisp takes the gyro back with him. That is, and they don't take the bounty. So three bounties go for uh, wind and rain. Only one for Furion on that Not top lane. Expected? That's very mm. very sassy line, man. Uh, Brood mother. Uh, Building actually not into the fusel after medallion, but into a solar crest. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Usually, I see the medallion into the fusel. Yeah. And w once you have those two items, you can even uh, go on legion and kill her. But he's not doing that. Also, he's not microing the spiders while he's farming the ancients, which basically means the spiders are dying. But it, it looks like he's doing quite all right. <laughs> well enough, at least. <laughs> I love this judgment. Like he's not doing this well, but like he's oh, he's a pro point. He's okay, so whatever. I mean, he he's taking down the the, the ancients at least. The dragon is dying, hence his do yeah. job is done. But I agree, he's not. I mean, the, some spiders have been sacrificed in the process, but I've noticed that a lot of like uh, what is it? A lot of players, like a lot of Broodmother players, ever since Broodmother's kind of transitioned into not so much of a micro hero, but just a carry, really. Yeah. They lost the micro ability. I remember talking to Broodmother players before, like, oh, I have six control groups, one for each set of spiders. Now, like, nah, man, I just go in and just yeah. <laughs> activate R yeah. and just charge. But, but that's it. That's it. Like, you just adapt to what's necessary, and that's it. You don't. There's a lot of these heroes that became much easier than before, and you just adapt to it, and you just play, start playing them like that. Like Wisp. Wisp used to be so much more complex. You had like. Uh, we had multiple, uh, like, different approaches to, to, to tether and how you tether and when you tether because it was on cooldown and you it wasn't on all the time. Uh, yeah, and uh, the way you used overcharge was different. Now overcharge, yeah, press it. Yeah. It lasts, like, what? How much does it last even right now when you, when you press it? <laughs> wow, it like it. <laughs> Uh, status in console says that nobody lagging beside Chinese casters. Yes, Elijah. He's in on the joke, man. He's been listening to the cast. That's proof. That is the proof. What That's a also the proof that he has a big mouth and likes to flame a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no one is lagging. Stop lying. Go play. Alright, um, how, how long does it last, you're saying, Overcharge? I don't know. Well, it doesn't even not, say. Why is it not I don't know why it doesn't say. It says the cooldown. But it doesn't say, I guess because before it, it, yeah, it didn't, it right? I'm not gonna lie, I, before I don't it, actually yeah. know because I'm not an IO player and like... What I'm an IO player, I have like a thousand games and I literally do not know. I can't tell you now. I'm not like a big I have fan of the new IO though, if I'm honest with you. Like ever Same. since they made him dumber and dumber and dumber, I think this overcharge like was the worst. I'm just inspired to play the Agonist IO, I'm gonna play uh... I'm going to play uh, 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 Aghanim's Gyro very soon, uh, IO very soon, definitely. I, after being inspired by mid-1 and his Rampage. Okay. I, I told I talked to some players too, and like Whale plus, plus that Aghanim's. It, it, it's a stupid amount of damage. It's still pretty useless, you're a Wisp, you know, and all that stuff, but, but it, it's a stupid amount of damage too. Yeah, yeah. Sounds getting his level 6. Oh, this champ. In the throw? Oh, oh, yeah. more creep. Come on. Let him have this creep alone. Yes! There we go. He got it. Global silence is ready. Now he's useful again, man. He's a relevant hero. Yeah, but that Ember Spirit level 9 phase boots drums bottle. Who cares, man? What? You can't use your levels against the silencer because he silences. Oh, we have a relocate. This is a... Okay, relocate with a duel. They're going to kill him in time. They don't get the extra damage, but they do kill Cube. Not ideal, though, because it's only the Clockwork you killed off. 
You wanted the extra damage, really. Nice oh, ice shards, though, stopping Wish. Oh, that swap. <laughs> the ice shards actually work against him. Uh, Snowball to get away. Fervin can still... No. Fervin is dead. Yeah, he bought out. He, he bought boots that he needed desperately. Okay. So, he, the, the... he's got that, yeah. So, we're talking about the silence are not doing the early game, right? But the Legion is also not getting the dual damage that you'd expect from a Legion that has a pretty nice early as well. So, you can't yep. really rely on her as a carry either. I mean, I say as a carry. You know, as a core... With damage. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely looking bright for Wind and Rain, much better than the That's match. Good. Oh god, he forgot the spiders on the mid lane. And he, <laughs> he tips, tips him. him as well. But this brood is still ahead. He's 6.4k and Legion Commander is 6.1. It just shows how little gold. You get 3 gold. Let's say it's it's 12, cre 12, 12 spiderlings. You, you get what, 36? No, I'm like, on the sun, so I'm, I can't even catch him fast enough. He's going for a recovery minus this one. I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Good if you're luck. playing, like, what, what else? As a silencer position 5, you don't need any items, so you might as well go for a Midas. I mean, you know, silencer is one of those heroes as well that uh, sometimes... Oh, bottom lane. Is that? Yep. Uh, sometimes. sometimes even when you're position 5, you go for Midas and you transition into a core later on. Yeah. You aren't uh, that sick core that Silencer is right now. You just oh, cool mid lane on Wish and the relocate. Well. But they can't get a kill over the whole this. The lack of stuns, man. They need something else. Like I, I'm glad we're starting with a duel, but they need to relocate in and then duel. Uh, otherwise, I, uh -huh. yeah, I agree as well because this relocate is pretty long. 3.5 seconds on level one. Yeah. That's that's 3.5 seconds of duel in which you're hitting him on your own. That's not a lot. It's a brood mother. Like she is fast. Yeah. She's going for Ags as well. Good luck catching her afterwards. So it's interesting mm. build on the brood mother. Solar crest and Ags. solar crest. Yeah, I mean, Agonims is something that I see very often. Yeah, yeah. It's a very strong item on her right now. It's usually but third or fourth item though, right? Like, yeah, I expected medallion defusal and then yeah. Ags, not like this. But we'll see. Bottom lane, there's a fight. The snowball catching Ruby. Okay. Oh, the touchers are too great though. They're like, okay, well. I guess we can't get the kill. <laughs> yeah, and they also didn't get that bounty, but they do get two bounties on the top lane, which is good for them. I'm Probably just still on level six, by the way. So it's, it gets bad. I wonder. Uh, this Ember is level eleven. I just want to see him do some more stuff. So far, he has seven zero two, but most of those kills are on Silencer. Silencer is zero six, right? Okay, oh, the chosen one would be a really good kill. He has the first the attack. Oh, he's a bit early, which means he's still on the searing chains now. In comes the brood mother. I don't think he's getting away from this one. He's quite fast, but he's blown up. Tip him. He tipped you before. What are you doing, Wish? Come on, bruh. That was that would have oh. been a good tip as well. Because you yeah, killed him with that. the broodlings that he keeps killing. So it's like yeah, a exactly. Revenge. He was killing his babies all the time, and this guy doesn't exchange the tip. Nah. Bad, bad tipping game, definitely. But they are winning the actual game though, so you know, there's that. Huggy yeah. at the bottom lane, they set up for a relocate, super long, but Huggy has no escape this time. Well, Mini is quite fast, the Primal Roar, however, the damage from Astral, he steals the kill that was going to Zidrax there. Yeah, Lissash was porting in, getting to the position to use the swap, but just a little bit too late, sadly, for him. And this is such a bad place to be as a position 5 Avenger, like, man, I should have been behind him, I should have known that they are going to go on him. Oh. But they are going to go on Jaro. That's a good global science though, with the help of the IO to turn this around. Fervin has not enough mana, don't go any further, guys. You know. You know what this is going to turn into. The Chosen One does have a Blink Dagger though. Maybe they can get a quick kill onto at least Elizish. That's a There's a ward in the middle of the lane. Uh, no, this would be very there's, there's deep. no way you can kill him. There's no way. Duel? What? Yes. What? It's double damage. What was this duel for? Well, to die and feed both <laughs> yourself and the Tusk, I guess. Okay, I, wait, I, wait, I, I forgot. If you feed them, right, your silencer is under farm. So you feed them, and then when the silencer kills them, they're worth more gold. Ah, oh, we yeah, smart. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's we how you smart. divide farm. We smart. I don't know, actually. In all honesty, I don't know what that means. Uh, Legion went from top net worth, which he should have been, to pretty under farmed. Yeah, I, I don't understand why he uh, went for that duel specifically on the... Level 13, Ember, he was, I guess, 12 at that point with drums and with Maelstrom and with Magic Wand. You're not killing him. Like, even even if there's no one there around, you're not killing them 
definitely. <laughs> like, there is no damage. You don't have blade mail. I don't get it. And the tier 1 is there, they can port on it. That's what I kept but, looking on Legion. Like, I thought I was seeing it wrong. I was like, is there a blade mail? Is this why you're going in? No. Maybe he felt that he has a <laughs> divine rapier or something, you know? I identify as a blade mail. That's what it is. Oh, there they go. Faye, try to catch Astro. Here's the rotation. So now, what coming in? The chosen one. He does get stunned out, but they can continue. This is a good duel, actually. Yeah, don't go walk away. This is a good duel to Faye. No, they killed him before. You could get That's the damage. Two. Or minus two. Silencer at least does get that. Uh, That's the first does intelligence. Does get that intelligence. Yeah, and also he has the Midas that he's working with. So he's going to have power threats very soon too. Woo! Man, this silencer, like with this plus two intelligence, he enrolled in preschool. He's learning to count. He's happy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit late. Hey man, don't judge. Uh, a little bit. Uh, ten, 10 years old, level 10, but... Uh, <laughs> 10 years old, already in preschool, guys. <laughs> already in preschool, yeah. Just took me a he's couple He's got tries. this. He's got this. <laughs> but he had a rough upbringing, you know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like his parents true. really didn't take care of him. He supports that is. They didn't support him. So. No, no. And uh, another death by Legion Commander, who is hell-bent on taking this tower. At least he takes the tower. So, Legion Commander for tower, with Fervian as a little it's you know, cherry yeah. on top. Bonus, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two for one today in the Dota Feeds department. Uh, I mean, he went in and tried to save her with a snowball. But even if he snowballs her in, they, they're still going on these creeps that are right next to these heroes. And that, that play in that aspect makes no sense. They will feed eventually, but... Uh, yeah, it's a valiant attempt to save his core. Uh, Sensor, however, needs to run right now. They they are circling around him, but this ward does help him out. At least he sees the beast. Okay, there's a bunch of broodlings ready on wish. This could be a good overwhelming odds. Like the more he collects, the more damage the legion deals. Because he's not getting any dual damage, so it's just up to his overwhelming odds. He's leading the charge here. Chosen one. Come on, he's fast. It's for the bounties, it's for the bounties, but he doesn't really go until the end. And Broodmother is most likely to, yeah. to go in. Like, they don't have vision of the high ground, so. Broodmother goes for the double bounties on the bottom lane. So, Brood, Ags, uh, Soul Crest, now BKP, right? So, very mid game oriented build. Like, not that much yeah. about the damage, just, you know, push the lanes, have pressure. Push the lanes, have pressure, be the one that's up front. Yep. Meanwhile, Gyro with Maelstrom and Ags just about farm. He's just about that farming game at the moment. He can definitely fight with this build as well, but he shouldn't because Chinese casters have taught us. If they have taught us anything, that's that this plus Gyro should farm. No, Top lane, however, Melo Joel, he has global. He doesn't have anything to deal with the global. Should be careful here. Okay. Sounds is there. Relocate as well. Is yeah, he? they can maybe kill him. They just need the extra stun, Ember. The lack of catch, man. They need Rod of Atus on the silencer at this point. Oh, but he can't, right? Because he has to go for four step just to not die. Yeah, I, I really think he needed the Atos earlier. He went for Midas instead as a recovery option, which is which I definitely do respect. But Atos versus December would do wonders. Also, Ember going for Maelstrom and Desolator. Uh, usually, you see one build or the other. Faye trying to mix it in a little bit with the Desol too. Or we'll see how it works. Uh, he's, this is a very cocky Ember build, though. Yeah, uh, the game. fact that he's yeah, he's going for Desolator and Maelstrom, he's still playing versus a Silencer. Uh, this Silencer has been, like, dumpstered completely, that's true. But uh, he has I, global I silence. Need, yeah, you still need PKB or Yule Scepter, I would say, honestly. Uh, exactly. If you get clipped by that global, you still die. It doesn't matter how far behind they are. Or how far behind the silencer is, right? Like, he, he doesn't matter. Yeah. It's all about the gyrocopter here. Like, they are playing a 4 protect 1, but if there's a 4 protect 1 I kind of trust, it's the IO gyro. Because you do have healing for your gy gyro constantly. Your whole team is surrounded. It's, it's about making him work. They have a global silence which works well in 4 protect 1 lineups. Yeah, and Bisp also finished his uh, mech as well. That's true. Overall, That's like, I, I would say that this is a good gyro game too later on. Yeah. But he just needs to get to that later on. And I mean, the push is not that strong, right, for Ember, or sorry, for the Blue Mother right now. Like, they haven't pushed that many towers for being 22 minutes in. And the only problem is Chosen 1, 0 dual victories, 22 minutes in as well. Yeah. 
It's a bad place to be in as a Legion commander. He essentially transitions into utility for Legion right now. Like, just yep. duel be, and be the stun the team needs. That's it. And it feels bad, because then you could have just picked a better uh, offlaner, like, I you don't know, Sanking or, or Centaur, that is the same thing. Yeah, he has that Desolator, which will help them with these pushes as well. Uh, and they're already going in. He has Aegis to work with, so he's not really as afraid of anyone at the moment. But it looks like they will settle with the tier 2 and go back. Just by forcing them back, that's also something. You force the Wispin Gyro to go back and defend. And now they're stuck in base instead of farming somewhere Absolutely on the sidelines. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, they're, they're looking for the Mjolnir next for Zidrex too. I guess just, just improve that Ag's damage. The Silence are slowly building it back up though. He's only 2,000 away from the... Uh, like that Mayas is working. And and this also puts a timer, I think, on Winded Rain. Like, I would have loved to run a Vatos on Silencer, but I don't know if you had the, the impact to actually attack. And, and Wind and Rain are kind of stressed out. They think, okay, we gotta push. We we, we gotta take these towers now. That's why yeah, I think yeah, the yeah. Desolator build on Ember as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely in this offensive posture. They want to make use of their their advantage. This 9-1 Ember and whatnot, they, and the Aegis as well. They want to be constantly on the aggressive moves. That's what Faye is doing. He's hunting the tracks right now. Uh, uh, the BKB is completed too on the gyro though. A BKB, a Maelstrom, uh, Agonims, and Mjolnir are almost completed now. Mm. He needs what's 150 gold and he's got it. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking right now to see who I would like want to get catch on besides obviously Sanser who needs to go for Ratos. But like, is, is can I or Tusk sacrifice some of their farm for just a bit of extra catch? Oh, oh chosen one That's blinks good. out. Yeah. But he, he should a... still be caught. He can clear the spiders for now. Global silence. They want to fight this. Okay, they have a duel ready. Duel on the Ember. This They're going to win this one, but they only take the Aegis away, so Ember can still fight this. Rune Mother immediately against Astral. Mechanism getting a little bit of space. Uh, Beastmaster's already done. Gyrocopter filing alone here. Join his goblin friend. Destroys the Clockwork. There we go. Also the Ventral Spirit. Zidrax doesn't eat the Io. He's an independent grown dwarf. And he's ready to attack Faye as well. Astral? Is he taking him back? He isn't? No, good. He's not. Good. He's letting him good. play aggressively. Yeah, very good fight for... Uh, really good fight for Radiant, for Namiga. They buy back the Wisp. Yeah, Silencer dies. But they win fight, they take down four. Uh, well, four including the Aegis, right? So... Mm -hmm. Really well played by them. I expected them... I expected that fight to go much poorly for them, but it didn't. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like Wind and Rain have the firepower needed to to fight off the Gyro. Once once he presses that BKB, you just have to run. Just don't don't poke the bear. Don't poke the beast. Run away. Yeah, it doesn't it, like you 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 can't really fight the Gyrocopter right now, and and the late game is going to become more of an issue. Even like oh, oh chosen one, please. Okay. This is what we're talking about, right? If they can get to that late game, I think they do have a pretty nice chance. The global science is strong regardless of how farmed the silencer is. Mm. The uh, the tusk just with the snowball gives him a bit of extra save, which is nice for the gyrocopter. And the broodmother, because of her build, can't really burst down the eyes. Oh, hook top lane. He does have a force to work with though, but he should still be so. caught. There's a broodmother, yeah, wrapping from around. When you accept that you should die. Yeah. Like he he is 14 years old. But on the right old. side. Ember dies. That's a kill that you shouldn't be giving away. No, that duel is working out nicely. Maybe Ember wants to concern now with Lincolns. Yeah, he is. He's going straight for the Lincolns. Yeah, I mean... Okay, it's Link. a very greedy build from him. Maelstrom and Dazzle. I called that out a little bit earlier too. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't understand that build too. Usually I see the Dazzle as... As something that goes without the Maelstrom. Something that helps you with fights. But then you're going for a different kind of a build completely. When you go both, it just feels like you're in a pub, like Maelstrom Desolator. It feels like that's what I would see in a 4K pub. Uh, it just feels wrong. I can't describe it. No, I agree. It's, it's just class cannon as hell. And, and if you were like in a game where you're uncatchable, I can understand this, right? But because of the silencer, you now... If you want to build defensive items, you have now have to build Lincoln, sure, for the duel. You still need the Yosuter PKB eventually to the silence. To the problem. Yep. Uh, you, you will at some point want an Axe if you want the mobility. Like, it's a very... Hmm. What's the, what's the word um, I'm looking for? Like very monodimensional. Like you don't have 
Like, you can only do one thing as as, as this ember, which is deal damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you can't deal damage if you're stunned or dead, right? So... That's, that's a good right. point. Yeah, dead right. men can fight. Yeah, so your item build doesn't really work. <laughs> you, you need to... Yeah, you need to rethink your strategy. <laughs> Imagine it's like for show, you know. It looks like... good. It look. It looks good, but it doesn't work. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a guy that looks really good and also hits very hard is Tracks Gyro, about to finish his butterfly after the BKB Mjolnir and Agnims. So soon he'll be six slotted as well. He, he went from my, my favorite build on the Ags Gyro. I think there's a lot of like debate, honestly, uh, based on the Ags. Like, do you build Ags first? Is Ags second? Is Ags third? Mm -hmm. And he went for straight rush of the Ags, then straight yep. in the Maelstrom for the farming ability, and then BKB to have some impact in team fights. That's, to me, the better I, 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 I guess sometimes Maelstrom is better first. If, if you can, you farm. can yeah. yeah, if you can just farm. Aghanim's beefs you up a little bit. Uh, in this kind of a game, I guess Ember was so fat that he was afraid of not getting Ags as well. Uh, if you go for Maelstrom first, like, and he jumps on you, you're just dead instantly, right? Maybe that's the reason too. But it's player pre preference in the end. Like you said, you like the axe. I, I don't care. I, I, I think it, it's from one game to another. It, it depends, I guess. I, uh, to uh, me, the uh, I guess the, the logic behind is that the, the axe is actually pretty decent uh, alone, just early, because your attack rate's not that high. So 1.1 mm. attack rate, you know, without while moving is pretty nice. But as the game progresses, it's less and less great. It's just because you have the IO that it makes sense. So you can actually fight an early fight with the Axe, which is why... I, which we saw Zidrax doing in the early game. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, definitely. They they did fight with the Sagnums and he didn't die so far, not even once. So who am I to judge? I probably would have fed a couple of times by now. <laughs> it's all about the so. playstyle as well, right? Like, just yeah. fit, pick a build that fits your playstyle. He fought once he got the Axe, that's smart. If he got Maelstrom, he would have stayed farming, that's fine too. As long as you... Uh, yeah, I, I agree that, uh, with that completely. You need to adjust your game plan to the item build or your item build to the game plan. So. Which is something that, for example, the Ember, I would say, is not doing accomplishing so much. Right? Like, he is going in like a normal Ember, but he is a pretty fragile Ember this time. Yep. No, not going for Yules early on or BKB versus Silencer definitely did hurt him quite a lot. Oh no, the Chosen. And now... <laughs> that's He's Hawk. under the Hawk. He's <laughs> that's <no>. Hawk. <laughs> He's like, wait, they saw me? And he actually rocket flare there just to pretend like it wasn't the, uh, the hawk that saw them. I mean, I, I think it was the rocket flare perhaps so that he doesn't blink out or... Oh, that could have also been that. Because I thought, why not hook shot or... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's not, not necessary really to protect the hawk that <laughs> cannot move away anyway. Like, I'm long time ago... Bottom lane Ember steals two bounties. That's pretty well played. And he has that Lincolns, by the way, that we talked about. That Lincolns is pretty good versus Last Word from from uh, Silencer too, as it's something that he struggles with as well. True. Like now you can now as long as you're able to fight around that Global Silence. The silent, Global Silence have been really good though for Melodru. I'll say like he has been crushed, but his Global Silence have been on point. And look at him, his build mm. straight up side of Vice. I like this honestly. You need that catch. Yeah, very straightforward. This hex will help them out. Mm -hmm. uh, AC built by Broodmother too. I mean, this Broodmother feels uh, as well like she's very tanky and, and nasty to deal with. But at the same time, this Broodmother isn't doing a whole lot. Like, I don't feel the damage coming out from her. At least not yet. You'll see the AC is completely right now. So should be better. Where it goes, it tracks. Soul Crest. Where's the Io? Where's the Io? Where's the partner? There we go. Io oh, comes in. Global cool. Silence. BKB forced, but... Oh, nice. They actually forced the BKB right before the Silence. So Wish is actually in trouble. They catch him. They have the duel ready, but they... Oh, they just got cancelled? Was that a Lincoln's? The Ember just Lincoln's? I think so. That's why they couldn't duel him in time. That was a really good play there. There we go. Wish is actually dish dishing out a lot of damage. Oh, now the gyro is trouble again. He has the BKB though, ready from a to keep him in place. The IO won't last too long. Astro has nowhere to run. He's gonna lose his partner. And this time there's no buyback to get him back into the feet. Team fight. Zidrax has no satanic, but he's just dealing so much damage. Goodbye to the Ember, immediately destroying Bookie as well. And Wish has to run away. Do not fight this gyrocopter. A force of nature to be reckoned with. <laughs> Helicopters are a force of nature. <laughs> Better run. <laughs> Yeah. Wind and rain, it's you know forces of nature. <laughs> I'm no, the true no. one. 
But yeah, it, that whole fight started with him completely just baiting them. He didn't even use the BKB. He knew, oh, the, what a casual double damage right in front of the Roshan. But, he, I mean, he didn't even want to pop the BKB. He was just waiting for them to go completely on him. Then Wisp connects. They have no damage. He knows they have no damage to take him down. And most importantly, they don't have no control to just keep him locked down. Oh, yeah, Aegis? Why the swap? We need to save Cube there because he's just gonna die to the gunner. There's the duel though. Cube is dead immediately. Wish does get the kill on Furby in the sidelines, but. I guess. Oh, they did steal the, the Aegis. Okay, yeah, okay. it's Cube. Right, Cube right. stole it. They swapped the gyro and Cube stole the Aegis. Let's see, hooked it. So. Pretty That's good nice. for them, I think, yeah. Sadly, Zitrax, he took cheese first. It's, it's like that situation in which you're just spam clicking yeah. Roshan and whatever falls underneath him. And. You pick up cheese first, but you only have one slot in inventory, and they snatch the age. It's unfortunate for the tracks. I mean, it's still cheese. But it's, it's still cheese, you know. It's still good. You have cheese; they don't have ages. <laughs> it's exactly. good for you. You got dual damage out of that as well. I mean, we, we, yeah. he has zero dual damage in the beginning, like minute twenty-two or so. He has seventy now. It's okay. He deals damage now. And. Uh, just talk about that last team fight though. I think um, mm -hmm. we're mentioning how he waited for the BKB. I think the timings for Namiga has been really good, honestly. Like the global sciences, the BKBs. Yeah, definitely. They aren't they aren't rushing it. Like when Brood went in, she pops her BKB, then they global. While Gyro yeah. still did not BKB. And he's very preservative with his BKB, which is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't just pop it every single fight at the start because... Uh, the only way he dies is if he does exactly that and then they just converge on top of him and kill him off. As long as he has that BKB, I doubt that he's able to die. Not just yet at least, not with the items that these guys have got. Uh, AC Brood is starting to hurt and is making her team a bit tankier, but it's still not enough versus uh, Zitrax's Gyro. He's going to have a Satanic completed soon as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Legion AC by the way as well. And... That hex that we were talking about on the Mellow Joe Wall, not there yet. He's still, he's still the poor old silencer, but he has the talent plus 120 gold per minute, so that is that's helping him out the a bit. Right this is yeah. what's saving his life right now. Yeah. The the um, satanic on the Jarek, I was mentioning that team fight, right? Once you get that sustain, IO is important still, obviously, but that sustain from satanic it, makes you have like a secondary IO. So if IO dies, you can buy back and relocate. You have a couple seconds where you can sustain yourself with satanic. Plus, that yeah, resistance just, is really good, so... He just has to be careful how he uses it, because there's yeah. a vessel on clock, so... Need to combo it with the BKB or after the vessel is used. That's all. That's true. You wanna make sure the primal roar has been used as well, so they don't stun you right as Satanic comes out. Which is the, the classic uh, way to just, just stun him out and ignore that active. There's a Satanic. Mm -hmm. Clock actually going for blade mail 35 minutes in. I, I mean, it still can help versus gyro, definitely. Or even the silencer, I guess. But uh, it is very late. Cube is a hell of a clock player, though. Hasn't really shined quite like, brightly in this game, like in some other games that I watched him play. But he's definitely very decent on clock. And he did win them that uh, lane versus, versus silencer quite hard. One of the reasons why Ember was so ahead. Oh, for sure. I mean, he's made some good plays this game. It's just a bit difficult because there's no follow-up, really, right? Like, yeah. he's made a lot of sacrificial plays, and sometimes when you see a clockwork, you're like, oh, he's just committing suicide. But no, it, it actually is creating space. He's kind of those heroes that it's all or nothing. You go in, you're not going out. You, you're committing to that team fight. He's a good husband. Clockwork commits to you. <laughs> very, very committed. Yeah, man. He's not fooling around, messing around. <laughs> With other other you know, robots. With other robots, yeah, he's your own bot, only yours. Uh, but no one respects him because of that. You know, I don't know. You give so much, and then you're. It always works out that way, right? Yeah, right. Man. It's those right? that give the <laughs> most that always get taken. It's not out only me, right, guys? <laughs> no, lizard, it's okay, man. I won't. I won't leave you. It's alright. Yeah, alright. No, I feel better. No, I. That's so sweet. What a sweet moment, yeah. Alright, <laughs> going back into the game that we're supposed to be <laughs> casting. Uh, I think Scythe of Ice is coming out in Silencer, by the way. He still hasn't yep. graduated preschool, but he is getting that Scythe of Ice. That's, that's a pretty good stick for a high schooler. Tr 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 trust fund baby, man. 
He says his parents yeah. are just very rich. They just gave him his inheritance. It's very nice. Yeah, the sheep stick on him now, and yeah. Pretty that can good. make a difference. That can make a huge difference. It gives them an ability to instantly catch under. Last word is instant cast. You can do that into Hex mm -hmm. without him being able to react to it. Or you can just global and then slowly Hex him. Who cares? He's not going anywhere. He doesn't have items for, for doing that. He doesn't have a BKB or Yules. And Zitrax right now is just going ham. Look at that. Walking uphill on his own. Not to care in his role. This is pretty much uh, representative of the state of the game that he is in as Gyro. He, he understands that they have no ways of killing him at the moment. Oh, Pervian, that's not the play. Maybe they have a force? Uh, no, they don't. They have a force sounds, sounds, yeah. But they push him down. Oh, they dead. forced out the Ember? A bit of lag on my Dota, sorry guys. Uh, uh, yeah, for, it was for everyone, I believe. I lagged. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going insane, no. I was like, oh, okay. Anyways, Pervian just... Uh, Snowballs up like that and dies. Instantly stops their push. Solo stopping Radiant's push. Not not the best play, but uh, no. what can you do? Sometimes mistakes happen. I mean, maybe he's just like this. You're gonna come close to it. Why don't you use Flat Cannon for this? Ah, he's saving the Flat Cannon and just not kill the creeps, I suppose. I would have just cleared them, honestly, with the Flat Cannon. You would have? Yeah, 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 I know. I'm a green I person. feel you. I don't know if that's like. It's a pretty long cooldown if they're behind and just baiting you sure. to do use it and then try to fight you. Yeah, so, I guess your team is not worth more, a flag yeah. cannon. That's crazy yeah, to he's think. A bit, he's just a bit careful. He's actually queuing up a Daedalus and a Rapier as well. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what he goes for. He did uh, buy that Demon Edge first. I guess Daedalus is... Absolutely perfect. I know, it's Rapier. I, I was thinking if he cannot die, which we all think that he can't, then Rapier does make. Oh, MKB, never mind. I like the but yeah. By the way, am I saying Radiance this whole time? No. I am, Rapier. right? Divine Rapier, yeah. No, Divine said. Rapier. Alright. Maybe, maybe I just going assumed bad. that you were saying. I don't know. Because I, I knew he wasn't. I was looking at his items, like, obviously he's saying Rapier. I don't know. Whatever, man. Cash is not supposed to so, speak well. Don't go crazy. So, sometimes it happens like... I, I, it's not only for me. I, I, I thought that it was only me, but I see that in a lot of casters as well. Like, you're you're talking about an item, but you're, you're saying a completely different item, you know? Like, uh, yeah. And, and you, and you it, both understand because you both like... You, just... And you both understand because, <laughs> understand because you're both on... On the same page, right? Yeah. But someone watching could be like, "What? What are you talking about? <laughs> are these, what are these guys smoking in the cast? Jesus Christ!" <laughs> exactly. That's some strong push. <laughs> well, let's look at the levels, by the way, because we're seeing some some important level 25s coming out. Legion and, and Gyrocopter. We'll we'll see what they pick up. Also, the Amber caught in close to level 25. Broodmother already got her spider's health. Oh wow, spider's health. Okay, so this brood is not even for, going for the carry build. I actually went for the spider I, I, talents. I didn't even notice that. I've seen a couple of players go for the spider salt as well, which is very curious. I'd always go with the with the damage and the right click build, right? But all right. But I understand the twenty percent cooldown reduction because it affects a lot of your abilities. That's fine. But like uh, attack speed, particularly. Because uh, to me, what this means though is that Broodmother has a bit less late game viability because the Broodlings build yeah. is a bit more of a mid game oriented build. I agree with you, definitely. I'm not certain, especially you mentioned before Gyro later on yeah. uh, with Flak Cannon, he, he deals easily with these Broodlings. And usually that's why we don't we see a Brood not even go for them later on, right? It's just, it's just to farm and then you right click away. but. He went for the Broodling's talent, so I guess he'll be fighting more. Zitrax goes straight into the pit, uses his ulti. And now, basically what this is doing, this is this is saying, come and get me, right? Like, just come and fight us. But this can be dangerous as well. He doesn't have slots, so he has to maneuver that around. It's Aegis, she isn't there playing versus a clock, who they are not trying to block. Okay, they don't block the clock, which means they take the Aegis of the Immortal, but now that finally gets a global silence, Zitrax. Take as much time as he can. The duel onto the Beastmaster will finally kill him off. He can't get the Primal Roar off in time. They did just lose their Aegis though. But in exchange for a Beastmaster for now, 
They lose their Ayo in the process. Not the best. You have the AoE press the attack at least to retain some of your HP. Wish will be able to TP. Who got the Aegis on engagement? I think it was a it's clock, right? Yeah. Cute. Clock has refresher. Point, yeah. I mean, he's on point, but they're really making it easy for him. Yeah. They really are. Like, they they go into rush without taking a single pick off. And you're playing versus a clock. At least try to blo body block him. Move around the pit, you know. Uh, or you, us you, you usually would. Uh, stand behind that pit in between the clock and, and Roshan. Mess with him. I, I, I actually cannot believe that they went into the pit that way without preparing for, for, uh, for that clockwork. Without actually utilizing, let's, silencer or tusk. Why is Tusk on the other side? Just find the clock, try to body block the hook, just do something. I, I don't get it. Some like, some small misplays there that, that shouldn't be happening in this level of gameplay. They did force a bad team fight though, so no, to their benefit. Like they, they got a good team fight out of that. Yeah, sure, you lose the IO, but you win that team fight overall. And losing Th that's the AGE to a is sure. You know, you're not that concerned about the and They forced the buyback on the Boogie's Beastmaster yeah. too, which is quite good. Quite good for you. We're getting close to the shard for the gyrocopter, so he finally gets that Ags. Except he gets it constantly, not with the Io. This is actually better than the old Io gyrocopter. Genius. Mm -hmm. And Io's getting close to level 25 as well, which is pretty crazy. If you actually go for the attacks tethered allies target, it's not insane to go for that. It's uh, he's definitely going for that. He will go for that because okay. if you if you click on him, you can see that he has Desolator queued up as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it's true. It, it's most certainly going to be yeah. that build. That that's insane. It's a lot of damage when you get that with flat cannon, with gyro, with gyro zags. Yeah. Like this becomes a carry on on his own. The chosen one might be dead on top lane though. Yeah. Press the attack. Oh, the sounds of afterwards. And I'd love oh, they're looking the again. Double silence, a bit bad, but they're okay coming in, hoping to catch these guys out. And the chosen one's just surviving for now. Chosen one still has the duel ready. They want to catch him out for a bit longer. They destroy the ages first. Go for the clock. Still chosen one still surviving. Press the attack. Ready. Seems like he'll be able to get away with the age just gone. The clockwork wish the target. They just need to stun him out somehow, but they have no vision of him. They need Tinker. Yeah, really once. well, really well played by Astral, realizing that he does not need to keep keep the gyro tethered. So he re tethers uh, the Legion commander. Oh, Faye okay. could not walk into that. He wanted to steal that room. That could have been. Good. It could have been a good play, but he didn't manage to do it. Oh, they gave him the bottle. Did you see that? They gave him the bottle. Yeah, it's for the much. DD, yeah, it's good. I mean, they're playing this well. I think the Meager are playing this quite well, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That relocate on top lane was a little bit scary, yeah. but they saved the Legion Commander and they killed the clock. That's pretty good. I, I just don't know what Wind and Rain can do right now. Like, look at Ember's build. He's gone full glass cannon, but I don't love this build because you lose Ember's mobility and you don't deal that much damage to the glass cannon build, honestly. Yeah. And you're playing versus a silencer, so you you always have to be very careful about the possibility of a global, yeah, and the hex follow up by him. So, also silencer going for Lotus next. That's very interesting too. Lotus on him, I believe I saw Wisp going for Lotus too. Yeah, uh, yeah, Wisp has a Lotus queued up, and so the silencer. That's that's peculiar. I expected silencer to go for something different. Perhaps a BKB even, but no, Lotus is his option. I guess to just throw it on this gyro, they realize this gyro is the true carry. Yeah. Just give him everything and put him up front and stay behind the beast. Uh, I think, I mean, Lotus here, what, it counters the Primal Roar, counters the swap very well as well, which is one of the mm -hmm. BKB piercing decisions. I guess whatever you want to consider it. So... I, I can see the point. I don't love it on the silencer though. I would have a minus seeing more catch, but I guess he can just farm it quicker than the tusk can. In fact, silencer is actually beating the beastmaster right now. He went from position five to four to three this game. There's the rapier. The rapier is completed, and now this game can go anywhere. I, I have a feeling if he just went for the it would have been safer. But all right, he goes for rapier and. Man, this is CIS. It is a ballsy move. Yeah, it is a ballsy move. Yeah, CIS and gyro ra with rapiers. There's. There's a correlation. Like, yeah, definitely. But there's a double damage on Brute. She has the Blood Torn. Why is no one bu buying a Nullifier on this team, though? Oh, wish from behind. Go for the Silencer. Lotus Orb. Ah, that might be Walls a while. There we go. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a good point. Imagine if she has a Nullifier there. That, that guy could be very easily dead. Same goes for Gyro. 
Oh, they're actually. Oh, they're going are for they going to finish the game here? What? Probably oh, Roar is behind. Legion stopped. Global silence. They don't want them to kill the chosen one. They use the glyph here. What? Zidrax, man. This is a bit insane. He Ember. wants to push this out, but he's confident. They relocate him out. Oh, no. He's in the snowball. He's in the snowball. They're keeping on fight. And they are destroying Cube right now. He's satanic. They swap him away. He's using the call down. He's just fighting against everyone. And he's men fighting every single person in wind and rain. You cannot stop this gyrocopter. Astro even comes in with a relocate. They have balls of steel. And you only have pigs. Look at this pig coming in. Zidrax just wants to finish the game. Wind and rain get decimated by one of the ballsiest, most courageous moves. That's why you buy Raper Lizard. Exactly that's why. That's the play. You just buy the Raper and you end? Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's, like, they didn't even hesitate, man. No hesitation. Just straight to the tier 4s and, and ancient. Yeah, why not? I, I like it. It worked out. I would, yeah. it, it definitely did look like they were sick of this game and they just wanted it to be <laughs> over. Especially that silencer. He's like, guys, just get the rape here. If that means I'm going to be... It's, this pain is going to stop in which I'm 1-9 in a game in which I should have been the mid-silencer that actually has some fun. But yeah, it, it must feel also very good for that silencer to be able to win the game after he started with 0-6 or something on the off lane. That was such a rough, 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 rough game. Uh, then again, Wind and Rain, it, it feels like uh, they had a good brute game. It was versus Legion Commander, but he was still out farming her. He was still finding his farm. Mm -hmm. They had an awesome Ember game. You can't ask for more, but they just didn't find a way to connect the pieces and, and, and actually end with everything that they've been given. Well, with that, uh, Namiga take the game 2-0, and they they win over Wind and Rain. Very happy with this victory. They deserved. This will be it for today, guys. If you want to tune in again tomorrow at 5 CST, we will have more matches. I think Lizard will still be here, but I, I'll be gone. So, you know, hope you miss me, man. And uh, I'll miss you, baby. Already I miss you. <laughs> so sweet. So nice. The cast is for today. These swords with myself, Lizard. Feel free to look us up on Twitter or wherever. Uh you know the gym maybe for lizard and we'll see you guys <laughs> tomorrow with some more dota 2 see you then this is the loot pet loot pet dota S season season one go loot pet go yeah go go bet on loot pet guys go bet. sell yeah. out go bet <laughs> goodbye